What did the legendary DoD gonculator, the super rare DoD corrosion distortion, and the infamous DoD FX69 grunge distortion all have in common? Well, they're all highly sought after discontinued pedals made by DoD that for some of us define the sound of the 90s. And did you know that all three of these DoD classics and a lot more are all available in one pedal? Of course you didn't, but you will. We all know that thanks to Incubus using the gonculator on some songs like Glass that it quickly become a hot item and resulted in some stiff use prices. The sheer rarity of the corrosion distortion did the same thing to its price on the market. And lastly, we can't forget that infamous FX69 grunge pedal. But hey, love it or hate it, there's no denying that it definitely met its mark on guitar history. And an original DoD Lamb series, not the Digitech reissue, it'll set you back a pretty penny. Well, for a poor boy like me anyway. Well, imagine my surprise when I was cruising reverb, just idly browsing, not looking to buy anything, and I came across this, the DoD Tech 4X in black. I'll be honest, I saw that it was a DoD pedal, which I love, and that it had that notorious grunge distortion built in, and most importantly, this thing was 25 bucks. You heard right. All three of these classic DoD circuits are here, on top of a ton of other effects. Chorus, flanger, phaser, tremolo, ring modulator, a pitch shifter, detune, three manual waz, three auto waz, mono and multi-tap delays, three reverbs, a compressor, a three-band EQ, a noise gate with slow and fast swell, a built-in tuner with bypass mode, and last but definitely not least, it's got the pixelator. That's an effect designed with Nine Inch Nails guitarist Charlie Cloud. It degrades your signal by undersampling it and mixing it with your original dry sound. And it's another reason that the more popular DoD Space Station costs as much as it does. It's the only other place you can get it. And it's one of the main reasons that people buy and hang on to this pedal. So, most importantly, how does it sound and play? I'll be honest, not all that great. I mean, the sounds are there, so if you just want to have these sought-after sounds in your recording arsenal, it's great. But there's a couple things holding it back from actually being on your live pedal board. I mean, it's crammed. Actually hitting the trigger you're aiming for can be hard. And the other big factor is the noise. In a chain, this thing can generate some seriously weird unintentional noise. But if you use it by itself with its own power supply, it fixes that. Bottom line, this sleeper budget box puts iconic sounds clunkily at your feet for less than the price of one budget Behringer. And that's definitely worth a look in the Budget King's book.